From time to time, basketball players do crazy things, making fans grab their heads and teammates blow their minds. Well, both of them need to get calm in order not to lose the championship. In today's video, we're going to enjoy these stunning reactions. So keep watching and smash the like button. Grizzlies games can be divided into highlights after Jamoran's arrival to the Memphis team. And that's the reason. Steven Adams grabs the rebound and passes to a point guard who seems to forget about attacking at all. Ja takes off for a dunk over San Antonio's center and oh my god, what is this guy doing? He's dunking over Jacob Perto, making the Memphis bench rush into the court and fans almost lose their heads. Whistles are sometimes absurd. Well, now this phenomenon is common, but it used to be some kind of madness. Tim Duncan was called for an offensive fall for no reason in the game between the Spurs and Mavericks. So he glared at the referee with a confused look and forgot about the fair refereeing. What the hell are you whistling? Greg Popovich was also about to ask. After the Mavericks' successful free throw, Crawford blew his whistle again and signaled a technical fall on Duncan. Duncan was on the bench and reacted to the offensive fall on him and the ensuing fall on his teammate Manu Ginobili. Minutes later, Duncan hysterically left on the bench and found himself ejected by Crawford, who handed him a second technical fall. Just imagine, the player was twice fault while sitting on the bench. Look at the reactions of San Antonio's players and Duncan, who doesn't understand what's going on. You are mistaken if you think that was all about Joe Crawford. This referee managed to whistle a lot over the years of his work. The game between the Los Angeles Lakers and Indiana Pacers, for example. The guest team player rushes under the hoop, jumps, bumps into the player who was just standing, falls and there goes the whistle. As a result, violation is given to the poor guy who was simply standing. But look at Joe, running to show the player's number. We hope that everything is okay with his mental state as he acts like that. Or he just enjoys his job, or maybe his whistle also makes him shocked. The guy is literally knocked, Kobe is holding his head and Crawford is full of joy. No matter how many stars show up for NBA games, no one still manages to surpass one event. The event, which happened during Game 1 between Golden State and Cleveland. Kevin Durant and Rihanna exchanged heated glances right during the final series, even though she came to root for LeBron. What was it? Of course we know Durant's story and what kind of character he is, but she looked at him, he looked at her several times right during the game. Firstly, it happened after one free throw and Durant seemed to say something to her, smirking, and then he even turned to her after a free pointer. The singer simply took all the public attention, even though the final wasn't very good, but that's already another story. So all eyes were on Rihanna and only then on the court. Lillard possesses the ball to humiliate Paul George in the final 15 seconds in Game 5 between Portland and Oklahoma. So Damien hits a 37-foot three-point sidestep buzzer beater. It's one of the most iconic shots in NBA history, remembered by everyone. And of course, the moment Lillard's guys ran out and almost crushed their leader with joy. The bench, the players on the court, the coaches, the whole organization, even the guy, everyone just ran to congratulate Dime. It was some kind of unstoppable madness, and I believe everyone would act the same way. We can watch this episode forever and it's impossible to stop. Moreover, there are numerous 6 minute long videos of this episode, but it was only a few seconds of game time. It's just legendary. Mildly speaking, James Harden has disliked Giannis Antetokounmpo for years. At least from the moment he got his MVP, while the beard was gaining 40 points per match. Harden calls Giannis a 7 foot giant who just runs and dunks. So Giannis was getting ready for free throws for a very long time in Game 6 of the playoff series. Everyone was already fed up with this. The fans even began to count seconds and the referee could not wait until Yanis got ready. Just look at James Harden's reaction. You could see only disappointment and despair in his eyes as Greek did not hit this throw. But 
it's worth mentioning that James Harden's exclamations are not the only worthy reaction of the episode. Travis Scott, who has been a fan of the player since the Houston Rockets, was on the Brooklyn Star Guard's side. The rapper is so worried about every episode of this confrontation that he cannot even keep himself from starting to dance right in the rostrum. Fans have all the opportunity to express their emotions, which can affect the entire play of series and the championship as well. And we're going to talk about the Boston Celtics arena, where the final with the Golden State Warriors took place. TD Garden is known for an incredible vibe it gives to its team. So fans began to chant not the most flattering words to Draymond Green in Game 3 of the finals. The reason is his attempt to injure Jason Tatum's bad shoulder. That's why the arena started shouting bad words at Green again after he got his sixth fall. So this seems to be the best reaction of the fans in the entire playoffs. The past Brooklyn Nets roster never reached such heights as the franchise would expect, so the administration decided to dismiss the main backbone even though they had incredible chemistry. It was a great team, no toxic stars, only respected coaches and players such as Russell, Allen, Levitt and Dinwiddie showing incredible play. Those guys acted and treated each other in a different way. Just look at the number of emotions they gave us. We're all human. We all show emotions. And even celebrities attending NBA games are also people with emotions. And they can enjoy the game or even shout out something. Once in 2008, Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon, two Hollywood stars, decided to support their home team, the Celtics. Actors root for absolutely every Boston team in any kind of sport, and basketball is no exception. The agent got the them tickets to the front row right next to the Lakers bench. Boston made a story comeback, losing 20 odd points at the game. Paul Pierce passes and the Lakers coach takes a timeout. Megan Mark and Matt just jump out of their seats, start screaming and grabbing their heads. So Phil Jackson turns to them and shouts, sit down and shut up. The two stars were shocked as they were scolded like little boys. Now Damon understands how to describe the confrontation between the Lakers and Celtics. If we're asked about the best reaction during the last few years, we will not hesitate to show the game between Washington and the Lakers. We all remember Lance Stevenson stepping on his opponent's foot while performing an ankle breaker. But now we're going to talk about the Lakers bench going crazy. JaVale McGee grabbing his head and jumping on the floor and also Stevenson celebrating his hit. That's all for today. Would you like to watch another collection of great reactions? Leave a comment below. By the way, feel free to let us know what you like and don't like about our videos. Give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe below. Also, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when our next video goes live. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye. They got Perimeter players in. They got perimeter. 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 perimeter.